a brand new 3D printer is going to be available soon on Kickstarter to fund this project. It is a Core XY 3D printer and it gives you a possibility to change into multiple different kind of colors. It sounds like a Bamboo Labs 3D printer, but I can't tell you already, it isn't. It is the Wonder Maker ZR Ultra. Well, let's talk all about it in Zach React. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Yeah, I saw something happening on Twitter on uh, or on X, on Facebook, and I was like, this might be interesting. It's going to be on Kickstarter. So if you are, you know, considering backing this Kickstarter campaign, know that you can lose your money. So if you don't have the money for it, don't risk it. But I think that this 3D printer might be a very interesting choice. It is a tool changer. It has a Core XY motion system, but uh, let's uh, let's dive right in and see where the Wonder Maker ZR Ultra is all about. And so here it is, the Wonder Maker ZR Ultra website. It's a very long link. If I can find a shorter one, I will post it in the description of this video. You can um, sign up for the launch notification because why? The super early bird price of this 3D printer is going to be around the 549 USD. That is interesting. It's super early bird deal. In my experiences, super early bird deals are most of the time 40% of the, you know, original price can be more can be lower this is the zr ultra for, from wonder maker print bigger quicker smarter a four times tool head tool changer it looks quite interesting so here we see the typical motion system of a tool changer we saw it already on the tool changer from e3d we also see it on the prusa xl it's basically going backwards then clipping the tool head on there and as you can see it it is on the back side of the carriage not on the front side so that part i think it's very interesting yeah you can print in multiple colors without the loss of a poop shoot or a filament poop shoot or something similar like that that you find on bamboo labs 3d printer or similar 3d printers that are using the same kind of method using the same tool head and then purging out filament and then getting rid of it via a poop shoot well it's a very open uh, printer at this moment in this kind of setup it's the first time that i see this so we are going to uh, see what else this printer offers. Nice, nice LCD screen. It, it looks very similar like we have seen before. And as you can see, we see two belt paths running here. So it is a Core XY motion system and making this a very quick printer as well. A four independent auto switching tool head for zero material waste. They are advertising here to eliminate all filament waste or keeping it as low as possible if you have seen cnc kitchens video that stefan pointed out about filament waste uh, the the bamboo labs 3d printer versus a uh, prusa xl that you have a little waste on a tool changer versus a bamboo labs kind of 3d printer efficiency means everything super fast color changes in five seconds well picking up one tool head and then switching over to another one i think it will take a little bit more than five seconds to be very honest i don't know if if the tools are still being heated if that is the case you have to be care very careful that it isn't leaking out any filament or that you will get some clock nozzle or crystallized polymer inside of the hot end or the nozzle you want to avoid that very nice build plate it looks very nice rendered very cool but it's about how the model will look like or how or what the possibilities are with this 3d printer always high speed it is a core xy 20 24 times faster than what i think that they mean like hey we have a 3d printer that is faster than a normal standard traditional 3d printer and then i'm talking about print speeds like 60 millimeters per second print speed and then the 24 times faster that will add up you have a flow rate of 32 millimeters cubed per second for the flow for the print speed is like 600 uh, the acceleration is like 20,000 millimeters per second square so that looks amazing but that's basically what nowadays the most of the printers have like the kitty tag like the bamboo labs many 3d printers advertise with the same kind of stats we have seen that before so that is not really special but what makes the difference between the normal printers that we see nowadays that are looking like a bamboo labs 3d printer versus this one this one is a tool changer and the other ones are just a single hat filament swapping but this would be you know something neat 
Also the print volume, 300 times 240 times 290. This is also going to be a little bit bigger than the normal standard 3D printer that you will get with the same appearance. But if you put this one next to it, it would be a little bit bigger than all the others. So not really trying to look alike, but trying to do it differently. And for the people who are watching this video, I'm not being paid by Wondermaker because this is my video. I saw this and I wanted to make a video to inform you about something that I think that would be very amazing or very cool and very bold as well. Because in this market, we see a lot of Core XY with almost the same identical kind of thing. Let's continue. So big print volume for spools of filament. That is nice. I think that would be a better option to, and here's my take, Take on it i don't know where the input is really you know maybe i will see other pictures and i'm like hey yeah i see where this is, this is going but i would say like for the the two left tools i would say like have these pools of filament right here and for the two on the right side put them on the right side so that you don't have a bulky side you know or that you can choose to go a little bit bigger spools you know why not higher temperature more practical because here they say like 300 degrees C hot end and 100 degrees C heated bed. Expand more possibilities. That is true. You can not only print in different kind of colors of PLA, you can also use PETG, you can also use ABS, and you can also even print nylon if you would like to. But just keep in mind, I only saw an open 3D printer. But I mean, if you are very handy you can go to the hardware store buy some acrylic panels and close this whole 3d printer all yourself if there is no enclosure option all for your needs so here they say like pla pla with carbon fiber peggy peggy with carbon fiber tpu this one is also printing tpu and why is that most of the 3d printer nowadays where you have a multicolor system a bamboo labs kind of 3d printer you always have to have a direct drive extruder because the ams system the cfs system are all motorized so if you want to print tpu on those machines you need to have a direct drive extruder well those machines are already direct drive extruders however the motor in the system is going to give you some trouble because TPU is a flexible material. So there you are going to get some issues. Now, this system will have one Bowden tube going from the spool where it's sitting on the right hand side of the print in this case, going to the specified or the, the dedicated tool head where your TPU is going to be printed with. So you have some more possibilities. That is cool. So you have also PVA PET. ABS and ASA. Pay one dollar deposit to lock in a free hot end kit. So you will get a 0.2 millimeters, a 0.4 millimeters, a 0.6 millimeters, and a 0.8 millimeters just for one dollar to lock in to reserve your, you know, backing up. Other printers versus, oh, here we are going to get it. Other printers versus the ZR or the ZR Ultra. A normal change of a normal bamboo ish kind of uh, printer would take also time to purge out filament in order to swap filament color so going back into the multicolor system the cfs the uh, mmu the ams and then you know providing the other color purging out clipping it off or clipping it off and then purging out something like that in order to swap colors and in this case because you have a multi-color or a multi-tool head system it parks one tool head takes the other one and then heat I think it needs to heat up, but they say like five seconds. So I assume that there is a waiting temperature, maybe 150 uh, degrees C, maybe higher, maybe lower. But if you're printing with PLA, PLA has a glass temperature of 40, 45, 60 degrees C. I don't know how fast this printer can heat up the hot end. Single material versus multiple material. And nowadays everybody wants to print multicolor. At least I want to do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Huge waste versus zero waste. If you are owning a Bumble Labs printer or something similar, you know that you will get a lot of perch filament in a bucket or maybe behind the 3D printer. With this kind of thing, you will still have a perch tower. They don't mention it here, but I know the Prus XL uses a perch tower to make sure that the nozzle is primed before getting back and continue where the other tool had left off. Power, uh, power off resume, easy to reach button. Oh, the on off switch, <laughs> yeah. We have, I have something like that on, on the uh, QD Tech X Plus. Very handy. Auto leveling. Um, yeah, cool. Nice. Filament detection. Cool. User friendly operation. Clipper. I th oh, he is using Orca Slicer. That is so cool. Nice. Wonder, Wonder Maker 3D. Space saving filament hanging. I would 
I would design something something different. Uh, auxiliary, cooling fan, and a camera. All backups will get a free upgrade. Uh, affordable option. <laughs> okay, okay. So, here we go. We are going to play the gas game. Need a more affordable option? 399 USD to start with... Uh, to start with a ZR single hat version. So we saw the super early bird price of 549 USD. I don't know if that are five tools or sorry, four tools or just maybe two. Because for 400, you will get one, just, just a normal single 3D printer. But I also see here a little poop shoot. One tool hat, four colors printing and a 300 times 300 times 300 millimeters. So you will get the same kind of printer but then basic and you can upgrade it to a you know a different kind of machine so basically we are talking about two machines a single tool head multicolor printer or you can go for the zr ultra and you will get the um, oh that arm no wait zach what are you thinking these are two different printers you have the one that make a zr basically a bamboo clone for 400 usd or you grab a little bit deeper in your pocket and you get a multi tool head printer and for an additional 99 usd you will get an enclosure kit as well a hood some panels 100 euro uh, 100 dollars i don't think that that is too much money specifications here we get all the details the print the the print volume is basically equal but because if you are going for the four tool head option um you will have a little bit less space because every tool will take some space up uh, so the zr the zr ultra i think that go for a multi-tool head with the zr ultra 549 usd i think it's it's a great deal i really hope uh, that um they are going to start in april with the kickstarter campaign launch and in may end of the kickstarter campaign pain so it's going to run for i think approximately 30 days like the normal standard kind of uh, kickstarter campaign i don't know when they are going to actually ship it nobody told me i'm just making this video to inform you about this i think bold idea to go for a tool changer um but i think like 549 usd as a kickstarter campaign early bird or super early bird i think that this price will bump up once it is going actually to be available on websites uh, I think like a 800, maybe 900, maybe even touching the 1000 USD for this multicolor printer. But you can also go for the 399. Time will tell. We will see it live um, happening between April and May this year. When they are going to ship it, we don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Wonder Maker ZR and the ZR Ultra? Would you dare to burn your money on this Kickstarter campaign or are you going to wait on it?